uh, you know, I thought we played well. I thought we shared the ball. I thought uh, Dwight was very good, uh, both ends. And, you know, after, uh, you know, Pierce got off a little bit and they had, you know, first 15 points or whatever real quickly, we defended them well. And that, that's going to be the key going through. But uh, uh, different guys, you know, Steve uh, had a great game. His pick and roll was good. So a lot of things we've been tr stressing that we came through tonight. So we just got to keep it going again. You know, it's one little step. Don't want to get, you know, too crazy. I know you're trying to consistency has been the problem. Right, right. How do you, what do you think from tonight is easily you know, replicated? <laughs> well, they, you know, we're just going to stress to them what they have to do and uh, hope it just, you know, we got back on defense a little bit better. Uh, we started slipping on that in the last – the games that we lost, we we got killed in transition. We did that better. Things that we can control and just being attentive and playing harder all the way through and, and then sharing the basketball. It's just everybody knows the formula. We just got to keep doing it and do it continuously. And so far we've had spurts and then fall back. We just can't do that. And hopefully the urgency of the situation will, will – uh, be you know that the players will understand how how important it is, and hopefully we you know we can keep it going. Yeah, yeah, that, that it helps. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, we've settled into something that uh, we'll go keep, and then obviously when Powell gets back, we'll add him to that. But uh, yeah, I think the players are getting more comfortable, and Steve Blake's playing well now, so he's he's helped and. Um, and I, you know, Antoine's been playing great, so uh, we've, our bench play's been good. Coach uh, Earl Clark, back to back to one thousand. Yeah, he uh, uh, obviously went at a career high in rebounds, and he's, he's got that he's got that pop out there that you need. Uh, he can improve a lot more; he can get better. But uh, he, he played a very very well tonight. What did you think of uh, the pregame? That was great. Yeah, it was great. Very emotional. Very nice. Uh, and. And I'm sure tomorrow will be great too. So it's a very good tribute to a great man. Did, did you feel it from the crowd? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you couldn't help but feel it. And I'm sure the players uh, uh, felt it also. Mike, you noticed Nash passed Magic as an all time assist. So how would you sum up what you've done to get there and uh, place a victory? Well, I just uh, congratulate him. He says it just means he's old. But, uh, um, you know, he's, he's, he's been he's unbelievable for. What he has done, and uh, and it comes from preparation, hard work, and understanding the game. And he just he did it all. And you know he had some, lean, you know he didn't even start off. He started off playing in on the bench in Phoenix for a couple of years, and went to Dallas, and had a couple of years that so so, and then he just took off. And uh, and to be able to play at age 39, what he's doing right now is incredible. What separates him from, from others? Uh, just his. Um, mastery of uh, the fundamentals and he's a lot stronger more athletic than most people give him credit because you look at him and go oh, you know he's normal but he's not normal uh, but that comes from his preparation and what he does to get ready in the off season and and uh, how hard he worked at Phoenix it was unbelievable he would do two a days by himself a lot um, but uh, to be able to to put the, the amount of energy into it for this long long period is, is incredible and he deserves whatever he gets